Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of Cleaning and Restoring. In this one we will be doing the Atari 2600 joystick controller. Or I guess just Atari joystick controller rather. I have two of these here. And the reason I'm doing this is because not only are they dirty like in this little spongy area, whatever you want to call this, and you can clean that, uh, but they also don't like move very well. This one, uh, both left and right are very stiff and don't actually work. This one, just the left direction doesn't work, or for you guys, that's the right. So I'm going to be doing both these, but I'll only show you uh, one, which is this one. I'm warning you now, if for some reason you're doing this and you want to clean up this bottom half of the controller, you won't be able to because it's uh, hardwired, as you can see here, to the actual uh, board inside the controller. So there's four screws, and they look like this because I already took three of them out. They're long, silver, regular Phillips head screws. So I'm going to go ahead and take, whoopsies, I'm going to go ahead and take the last one out real quick. If I could ever line it up. There we go. Okay. <sighs> Alright, so this should be a lot easier than doing that giant Magnavox Odyssey 2 that I just did. Although that was really fun. So now you're going to go ahead and just lift this off. And you will have some resistance and this button will fly off. And actually you may want to turn it upside down now that I think about it. And you'll probably get something like this. Now the motherboard has uh, little plastic cylinders holding it in place. So you're going to go ahead and slide it off. And it'll stick to the bottom half of the controller. The bottom half is not washable, nor can you remove the motherboard. So I would just move that aside along with the cable and crap. So now you're left with this. And you'll notice the red button has a tiny little spring on it. So you're going to want to go ahead and remove that. And make sure you put it somewhere where you won't lose it. I always put things like that with my screws. You can take your little red button out. It just slides out pretty easily. You can go ahead and clean that up. This big plastic thing is most likely your problem, uh, this like clear plastic thing, but if you pull on it, it actually is like basically the inside of the whole joystick. And uh, there's still obviously this piece. But so now you're just left with plastic and rubber for the joystick and this. So you can go ahead and wash this along with your red button and the top half of the controller. I'll be doing this for both controllers, but obviously I won't show you the other one because it's the same exact thing. For this one, I'm just going to clean it up with air, as I always do, and then I will be back with how to put it back together. So this is a nice, short, easy one. Alright, we're finally getting to the filming part of this. It's probably like two or three days since I actually recorded the first half. And putting these back together is easy, but it's kind of like a weird process. You have to kind of do some weird, like, moving around with stuff. So I start with the uh, joystick part of it. Uh, the top, I don't know what you want to call it. And so take your, like, long white piece, and you'll notice there's this white tab sticking out, that goes to the top of the controller. So if you're upside down, it goes to the side like with the buttonhole. So you can see like that. So then you take your button, drop it in place, and that little plastic tab, remember there's a tiny spring that goes on it like that. Now you're ready to put this back together. And this is where it kind of gets weird and uncomfortable. So take your motherboard, and I think it's easier to t flip the motherboard on you just kind of flip it over, line up the two little plastic tabs that are supposed to go through, then turn it the rest of the way over, and there you go, it's back together. Well, sort of, mine didn't fit together. There we go, now it's back together. So I'm going to put in one of these screws just so I don't lose this because I don't want this to come back apart. Of course, they had to use the longest screws they make. Okay. So uh, I'll show you guys the two finished results, but they do look pretty similar. So here are the two finished results. Uh, they don't look that much better because they weren't all that dirty on the exterior. I was just taking them apart and cleaning them up and hoping to get the joysticks working. This one, the one that was only broken in one direction, seems to be working now. This one, on the other hand, this was the one that couldn't go right or left. It seems to still be that way. I will test it. My friends who I got these from said he'll give me a new one if I can't get this one working, which as of now it doesn't seem like I can, but I didn't actually test it. So that's pretty much it for this video, so if you liked it, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please leave a like or subscribe for more videos similar to these. Thanks.